Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, but today we are doing something different. For one, you'll be able to see that it says the Binding of Isaac Repentance Plus. That's because we are now playing with a bunch of new content mods, Repentance Plus being one of them, as well as Deliverance, um, there's the Toy Box Item Pack, the Rotten Collection. There's a few different ones in there, quite a lot of new items and stuff. But also, we are doing our first episode of the modded character showcase, starting off with Mastema. I did, did actually do a little bit of a tester run with this guy, and he's very interesting. Essentially, this dude is um, HP gambling the character. Everything costs HP. You get the, um, the red devil item rooms that you would normally get from the bloody crown trinket. Uh, it's not the bloody crown, devil's crown. Uh, that's like auto smelted onto the character. You start with a prayer card as a pocket item to regen those hearts. And yeah, essentially you're paying for everything that comes your way apart from like boss items pretty much. Very, very interesting character. Starts off quite weak, but gets a bit stronger. We're starting off with uh, Mastema and Job, just because these are the two characters that I know that are the most sort of well thought out um, and detailed, as well as actually have full unlocks. So I went for both of these. They've also got tainted character versions as well, which I thought would be very interesting. But yeah, we're going to jump in. And like I said, we're probably going to see quite a few modded items along the way as well. I've started playing with the modded items in my regular series, um, the, the normal streak. But you guys won't be seeing that for another few weeks or so yet because we've got the backlog. Um, and we're just going to be seeing them in this main modded character series for now. Starting off here, so let's jump on in this Mastema and pop our prayer card right off the bat. Curse of the Labyrinth, interesting. Um, the more big rooms... Oh, damn, got hit already. The more big rooms we can find, the better, the more charges... Okay. Okay, this is a real strong start here. If we lose our Eternal Heart in this room, this is going to be, like, the strongest start to any modded character run of all time. <laughs> but as you can see, we start off with pretty low damage. Decent fire rate, but yeah, pretty low damage at only 2.5. So we're going to have a little bit of a difficulty killing things to start but that's mainly because we get devil deals on our item rooms so where a lot of our damage and power is going to end up coming from those um it's gonna be quite kind of interesting but yeah it's gonna be cool to see not only how this character plays uh but also some of the new modded items and stuff i've been seeing a few of them on my uh, regular series like i said those videos aren't out yet but there's been some really interesting ones please don't touch me i need my eternal card please don't <laughs> um yeah, it's been very interesting. We get to show off some of those as well. We also start with Duality and Sanguine Bond. Duality is definitely an interesting one. I feel like that could be quite strong. Um, Angel deals in this character, I think, still cost HP. Although, they might cost money. I'm not actually sure. But yeah, another another cool mod that we're going to be showcasing alongside this that I've only just enabled today um, is the uh, Enhanced Boss Health Bars. It's a new mod that just came out, and it does pretty much what it says. It adds um, Enhanced Boss health, health Bars, unique health bars to every single boss in the game, as well as um, the addition... Ouija board, is that really worth it? As well as the addition... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Of... Um, Having multi boss, uh, multi boss health bar. So if there's like multiple uh, bosses in one room, each of them have their own health bar, and some other interesting, unique features as well. It's definitely a cool mod, and I'm excited to uh, to try it out for the first time in this episode here. It's something that I imagine we'll be keeping on for a long time, especially considering it's made by the same person that makes like external item descriptions and such. It's a very high quality project made by I think quite a few people have contributed, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a very interesting one, and I'm super happy to be trying out alongside these modded character showcases. For those of you that are wondering as well, those of you that watch the regular daily Isaac uploads, um, this is like an extension of that, but it's its, it's its own unique series. We're going to be playing mainly modded characters um, and trying to get their unlocks and just showcasing um, modded characters as we go through here. I definitely think this is a room that I could get hit on here. This is a really horrible enemy for, for all these bomb rocks. But I get that's kind of the point. Can, can I hit you, please? Thank you. We just want to try and get prayer card filled up one more time. We've still got another item room to check out here. Um, and hopefully get a better devil deal than the Ouija board. I think the Ouija board's like... It's okay, but we really need some like hard damage upgrade or something. Okay, thank you all for walking into the fire. That definitely helps. That definitely helped. Finding uh, secret rooms could also be quite nice as well. We are, of course, still playing with like my rare secret room mods on and all the other mods we would normally have enabled on the series that, that you guys have seen. Let's keep her going. Oh, God. Take out the bomb spiders. Take them all out. Don't touch me. At least we got a soul heart now as well. I didn't even, um, 
click on that. Okay, so here's, here's a damage upgrade. We definitely need that. That's great. Take another Eternal Heart that we got as a drop. And then, something interesting. On the shops, um, we now have this. We always get the member's access card when we enter shops. And shops always cost HP. We've got something interesting here. Um... Reveals the location of ultra secret rooms on all subsequent floors. Any trinkets left behind in boss rooms will tend to crack keys. That's potentially really good. We can't do anything with it right now. Um, I guess it makes sense to turn a soul heart into a black heart. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think we can take anything else here. Our health is just a little too low. We'll be on our way. But yeah, getting that damage upgrade there, super nice. And yeah, I do wonder how um, how Sanguine Bond's going to play into all of this. Ooh, we got a glitched card there. I think I'd rather have the money first, though. Glitch card second. Although, thinking about it now, if shops don't take money... Well, I, I, I don't... Hmm. What uses money? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we use our money on this character. That's that's kind of an interesting thing. Maybe angel deals cost money or devil deals cost money, considering everything else costs health, but I doubt that's the case. Either way, but here's our first boss, and we can see the uh, the, the unique boss um, health bar there. Looks really good, and there's a, like I said, there's a unique icon for every single boss, and some custom health bars themselves for some of the bigger bosses in the game, like the end game bosses, which is just really cool. I really like it. I think it's a very, very nice addition to the game. It'd be awesome to see it come to the game officially, considering how high quality it is, but I doubt that's going to happen, um, at least anytime soon. Okay, let's take out all of these. See what boss item we get. Okay, we get health, and that doesn't cost anything. So, uh, yeah, it's our, bo our boss items don't actually um, cost anything there. So, we at least get some freebies in the boss pool, which is really nice, because obviously, boss pool is going to contain a lot of HP, which fuels the fire for us getting other stuff. So I think that's that's really important. More HP. So we can enter Angel or Devil Deal here. And it's kind of a toss-up of which one's going to be better. I think we try Angel Deal first. And we get an Eternal Heart out of it. I'll take a Little Delirium. I think he's decent enough. And we might as well go for um, a, a kill on our angel deal here and get our angel pieces. Also, another amazing looking boss health bar. But yeah, I'm thinking we go for our angel pieces because there's there's unlocks on this guy. So we're going to get um, a Mega Satan unlock if we can. Uh, I think I already have the, the lamb unlock. I did like one sort of speedy test run with this guy. But otherwise, we've got everything yet, yet to still get with this character. Um, oh, that was stupid. Oh, we have a holy mantle. We have another holy mantle. Um, what, Why do we have two holy mantles? Where did they come from? Was that... Is that an angel deal thing? Is that... A little delirium thing? I have no idea what caused that and why we have those, but... It saved us two hits of damage and kept our eternal heart alive, so... I've got to admit, I'm not too displeased about it. <laughs> uh, so let's keep on moving and grooving. Let's go down. And yeah, I guess we're trying to... Uh, going to try go do um, Mega Satan in this run, because... Like I said, this character does have unlocks for all the bosses, so I, I imagine that's um, something we'll be going for. I went for this thinking, hey, we can get some more charges here, but then I realized we don't have any protection for our Eternal Heart or our Devil Deal, um, more so than the uh, Eternal Heart. So I'm not as sure about this as I was prior, although Rubber Baby 2.0 killing it. Oh, do you see how close that got? Oh, my Lord. But yeah, so far, Mastema is a really cool character. I know that he has a tainted version. I don't actually know what the tainted version of Mastema even does, but I'm excited to find out. Um, well, like I said, we'll we'll just unlock the things as we go forward. I think the... Uh, really? Really, little delirium? Really? You had to, didn't you? Lose my angel deal for that boulder dash? Ugh. Very upsetting. Oh, God, I got hit again. Okay, I need to chill out. I really need a, an angel deal as well. I, not an angel deal, a, a soul heart. But I, need, I do also really need an angel deal. That would also be very nice. I just lost all of my chance for it on this floor, pretty, pretty much. 23% chance isn't exactly the best. And it was Little Delirium's fault as well. I took you. I took you in off the street, and you disrespect me like this. How could you? Do you know what? This is an annoying enough room to do this. Uh, 
There you go. Grab that. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't you dare. And we'll crack that open as well. Ugh. It's so sad when you crack one of those open and you get so little. Honestly, I'm sorry, but yes. Get gone. I'd rather have Sack Dagger. You, you, you've you hurt me once before. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Little Delirium, I'm confused. Why do I still have a Little Delirium? What did I just trade away? I didn't have any other familiars, did I? I'm very confused. But I guess it's a good thing? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Red Stew. Red Stew, is that worth a single heart? Tough to say, but kind of yes. <laughs> I say yes. I say yes it is. A huge damage upgrade, allowing us to pass through these the next two floors, really, and the, the next boss or so, really easily. Seems like a really good idea to me, even if it costs us one heart container. I like the idea. Just gotta keep, uh, make sure we keep on speed, like, on track. We don't wanna go real slow and end up wasting all of this. Excuse me, spiders. Could you die? Thank you. Pop that again. Get another health upgrade. I really like the uh, the idea of prayer card. I will say, it'd be kind of nice to have prayer card as a custom item rather than being the prayer card. I think it'd be more fitting with the character's sort of visuals to have a custom sprite for that. That's something a bit different. But I have to say, it works really well as, as like the item that it is. Justice is rather nice here. Next floor, let's go down. Hope we can get an angel deal on this floor coming up. It should be a 100% chance, right? Yes, it is. Okay, we do have a soul heart as well, so as long as we can keep that going, that'll be good. We could even end up getting a planetarium here. Didn't even think about that. Don't know if we will, but I'm guessing the planetarium will still cost HP. It's actually an interesting idea. I don't, I don't know if it will or not, to be honest. Okay, the money's pretty good in there. Uh, don't really know if we want to play that all too much, to be honest, though. I was going to think about playing the blood bank, but... I think we're kind of okay for it, to be honest. Because we don't need the money for anything. I think all we'd really be looking for out of it is blood bag. Which is odd. Got another prayer card usage going on there. This is a room that basically guarantees to hit you. But we got lucky. Sometimes when they bomb this themselves, it makes it a hell of a lot easier on us. Oh my god. This, is, this room's a nightmare. This room is a nightmare. Okay. Tons of prayer card charges, though, with these double and uh, double sized rooms. And we're still getting a good amount of damage from our red stew as well. Did get hit there, unfortunately, but. Check what's in here. Fast bombs? Is fast bombs a devil item? I don't think it is. I don't think I've ever seen fast bombs in a devil deal before, so I'm not quite sure what that's about. Maybe that's uh, a quirk with the, the red crown that I didn't know about. Kind of a strange quirk, I guess, but you never know. You never really know. Extra bomb there. Sorry, but we got to go speedy here. Uh, ooh, glowing hourglass is an interesting one. What the hell's this? Sometimes shoot arrows piercing grants a one use holy mantle. Okay. I don't, I don't know what it was on about, but piercing something or others. And that's from another mod, as I was saying before. Wait, can we do this? Oh, wait, that used Holy Mantle. Okay. Yeah, I can say we healed half a soul heart. <laughs> yeah, um, don't know how to feel about this, uh, this random chance to shoot the piercing shots or whatever. Ooh, that's really cool. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like the, the sound effect with it, too. It's Bombino. Ooh, it shoots him in random directions, though. Not going to be super hard to aim that. Super easy to aim that, sorry, but... We'll see. Eye drops is great here. We do have a bomb as well, so we can get our next angel piece. We also got something new here, too. Battle Royale. So I'm a friendly copy of every enemy in the room making them fight. That sounds hilarious. Got another soul heart there as well. Awesome. Health is looking really nice. I wonder if it works on bosses. That would be very interesting. But there's our key piece. Happy about that. We don't have to worry about going in angel deals anymore. Go down to the next floor. Oh, my lord. 
This character so far is feeling fairly strong. I, I'm definitely feeling the effects of having the uh, having to trade all of our HP away. HP is nowhere near as high as it should be at this stage in the game. I can definitely feel the effects of that. Lots of rooms without combat right yet, right now. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good item. Go admit, battle royale. I like it. Pitting everything against each other seems to work real nicely. Night soil, 5% chance to prevent a curse when entering a floor. Do you know what? That sounds ace. That sounds ace. I think that's part of the Repentance Plus. By the way, as well, I didn't even mention the Rep Repentance Plus mod as well has just been a great mod that adds loads of new stuff like trinkets, items, cards. Uh, I think it adds some new chests and stuff as well. It, um, it is planned. It not, doesn't cur it's not currently implemented, but it is planned that the mod will actually add... Um, add all of its items as unlocks to things that don't currently have unlocks. Okay, this is an interesting room. Could provide a soul heart or two. Do you know what? We got we got one. Uh, sorry, two. That's good enough for me. Very happy with that. We also got golden bombs too, which I think is pretty heckin' good. Try and find that secret room, I guess. I think we're almost out of the uh, bonus from Red Stew now. Almost. Not quite. Still a ton of bombs here. My lord. Yeah, get rid of those guys fast. Easily. Yeah, the piercing. I don't know I don't know how they like, fire directionally, but they seem pretty good when you fire them. It's only a quality 2 item, if I remember correctly, so it's not going to be the best in the world anyways. Good, good. Check in here. <laughs> Again, is that a devil deal item? We got blood bag immediately. First play. Wasn't expecting that one. I'd like to go into my uh, shop, please, but who knows if we'll get the chance. Stay back, heathen. Really? Game? Really? The one area where rock gets destroyed? Oh my god, that's so annoying. So annoying. Ow. Please stop, sir. Please stop. Thank you. Ugh. Not great stuff here. We got verp. Look up. Verp. Look up. Verp. Look up. <laughs> that kind of works. Speed down. Speed down's kind of annoying, but otherwise we're fine here. I'm going to stick on this floor and try and get a key from somewhere. I think that it's worth it to check out our shop here. There's a second secret room, at least, that could provide. Um, Another look up. It's good. Tears down. You can't be having that. Gulp. Okay, not the best there. Not the best. I do not like a, a tears down. Ah, oh, we have keys. <laughs> I'm like, let's open this up. We don't have any keys, you fool. Can't open that up. Golden bombs will prevail. They'll provide. Oh, God. Our tears are so bad now. That was horrible. The tears down really messed me up. My tears feel so slow. Maybe it's just because I got low base damage. I feel like a real big hit, though. Definitely a real big hit to the morale. Right, let's go and check out our shop. We've also got some battery charges over there as well. We should probably check out. Potato peeler is just not what we want at all. And I have to say, curved horn seems like a pretty good grab. As well as that. Honestly, as well as that. And as well as that. The lovers, yeah. Okay, this, this was all good. This was all good. Curved horn is going to be huge for us. Right. Let's go back over here and pop our lovers in here. 
Really? Yeah, okay. All right then. Not really what I was looking for, but I guess it's going to let us see some more modded items, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, a bit of an odd first run, I guess. Bit of an odd first run. Oh my god, we got a, a lot of rotten stuff here. A lot of rotten stuff. We got like all the rotten items. We've got one, two, three, four, five items from the rotten pack. Ah, like a baby rot gut. That's pretty cute. Baby rot gut. We also lost a lot of our red hearts when we did that. I don't know why. When we re-rolled. Maybe we had a lot of health upgrade items. God, our speed. I just realised. Our speed is just... Infathomably terrible. <laughs> we got lower than 0 0.6, which is just absurd, to be honest. I, I can't even hit this enemy. Oh my god. Oh, this is the, the this is the worst. Our speed is just gross. Can we even get away from that guy? Almost. Just about. Holy hell. God damn, it's hard to know when to use Battle Royale as well. This is a... Do you know what? This is a good room to use Battle Royale. There you go. Kill everything with Brimstone. It'd be cool if they let us keep him into the next room, but I think that'd be maybe a tad overpowered. Awesome. Y'all locked in. A key? No key. Speed up. Speed up. Damn. Speed up great. We definitely needed that, but I am really... The one looking for fire rate, which is just insane, considering this character starts with more fire rate than this. I don't really get how we've got less. Is it with that one tears down pill did this to us? <laughs> is that why we feel so impaired? I don't know, but it doesn't feel good. Still no key. Shot speed up is really good too. That shot speed is pretty pathetic. This is depth two as well. Come on, give us a key. Hey, luck is at six. Wow. Okay, luck is luck is in a great place. We can say that at least. Also, our character's looking gnarly right now. Come on, so many chests. Finally, yes, a key. Right, shop. You shall provide for me. You shall give me all that I need, all the sustenance. Um, this is worth. I think. The rosary is definitely worth. We needed the fire rate and the health is great. Emperor. Honestly, we can use that on this floor and get a, get a boss item. We'll have to fight uh, Mum's heart, but that's fine. There you go. <laughs> we got our own little laser hearts now. And also rot gut. Go, go, rot gut, go. Rot gut's doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a fantastic job. Holy hell, this is a great item. A lot of cool items I haven't seen before here. It's awesome to uh, see them all. Oh, we've got Glyph of Balance. Plus two soul hearts. Champion enemies. Uh, and then we can get priority drops as well. Okay, that's really good. I like that a lot. That's going to help us out a ton. We haven't seen our item room yet. We should probably go back and try and get another key to do that. Still, our speed. Our speed pains my very soul. God damn, it really does. Oh, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the character showcase so far. Um, this this character is very very interesting. I I I think the the developer of the character who ever made it has done a very very good job at balancing them and making the the trading health feel fair while also not feeling completely overpowered. I kind of thought it's like devil deals in your item rooms and starting with a prayer card that's super overpowered. But honestly, is this run overpowered? <laughs> Hell no. I definitely think that missing those uh, playing a big role in why it's not overpowered. I just stood right on those spikes. But still. I don't know what half my items do, I'll be honest. Right. I have a friend. I like the way that the friendly one's small. I don't know why, but I think that's great. I'm going to bomb all three of you. Or I'm going to not bomb. Why didn't that... Okay. Apparently, I've got something that makes bombs get flung. That's a lot of money. Too bad money doesn't do anything on this character. That's That's got to be my one biggest flaw so far. I don't really... 
understand where you use money. I guess on beggars, and that's it. Oh, it'd be nice to have flight there as well, look. Oh god, I didn't realise there was other enemies in this room, shit. Stop grabbing my poop. He's got my little dip and he's just holding him. We kept these guys though. These um after doing the whole uh battle royale, we managed to keep those dudes. Please don't hit me. That would be devastating. Yeah, devastating, like I said. Nice. Oh, there's more? Oh, this, this, this is one of the most horrible rooms. Everything just teleports onto you. Finally, the item room. Battle Royale is great. <laughs> what the hell is that? God's Eye. Damage up. Spectral Tears. Descending Tears with Long Distance Herming. I've got to try it. What in the F? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> I don't know what pack this from, but this item better be good because we just traded a hell of a lot of HP for it. Oh, I'm stupid. It's just going to re-roll, isn't it? <laughs> I traded so much HP for it and it's just going to re-roll on the next floor. I don't even get to try it. Uh, actually, I guess try it on mum at least. Is this going to be good? It sounds pretty good and the sprite for it is pretty awesome looking. Got to imagine it's going to be good. But I don't know. It seems strange. I think our range and shot speed is making it worse. This is real hard to control. I really don't know how to feel about this. It doesn't seem that all that strong. It seems very difficult to use. But I think, like I said, that's because I got low damage and like range and shot speed and stuff. This is very intriguing, though, of, of, a, of a bullet pattern. It's very cool looking. I'll say that. I bet it synergizes with some stuff really interestingly. I'm just really hoping that our next reroll has a hell of a lot more speed. And damage, I'll be honest. And fire rate, I'll be honest. More of everything, please, because this is just tragic. But yeah, this really isn't doing a lot of damage at all, is it? is taking quite some time. We're getting there. We're going to take the Polaroid this time as well. We're getting there. We take our Polaroid. We take our prayer card. We can go Devil Deal now. And I think I will. That's not Devil Deals. Not quite sure what that's about. I want to take one, but it's just going to get re-rolled, so I don't think we should. Let's go. Okay, I, I'm apprehensive here. Wait, do we have chaos or something on that? Uh, we might have chaos on that floor or something. Okay, we got a lot more HP, which is good. We got that the spectral arrow thing back. We got a fear meter or something. We had like a, a fear meter underneath us there. Danger meter, I don't know what, what it's called. We got decent damage this time. Actually, we got the same damage as last time, so don't ignore me. We're doing fine, is what I'll say. We're doing fine. So, this meter, I think it is like a getting close to projectiles on meter, maybe? I can't remember what happens when it fills up. I definitely recognize the item, though. Maybe it's a consumable? I think it's a consumable. That's not going to do anything for us. We've at least got more speed this floor as well. That's impressive. Cool. Oh, God. Okay, we, we're okay. We're okay. Do you know what? Let's just do that and kill everything. <laughs> it just summons on top of them and kills everything. It's great. Half soul heart, a black heart. Wow, best chest ever. That was very good. Yeah, health is way better this reroll than it has been previously. This is scary. Don't know what hit me there. I think it was a rising uh, red poop. Okay, beggar. We can actually play this dude now. We've got so much money and nothing to do with it. And he gave us the black bean. Hell yeah. So worthwhile. Oh, we got the fear meter there. Did that just give us a penny? I think that's all it gave us. 
<laughs> we like kept the room alive but killed all the enemies. That's weird. Okay, we got a key that time. Bia Meter seems to be starting immediately upon entering some rooms. Oh, God! <laughs> he like did a cha cha slide all the way into me there. Chariot card. Oh, we got this dude. I can't all chariot card him. I'm loving, loving the um, the the boss HP bars mod. It's so good. Some really unique looking ones that look really nice. We got eye drops. We'll take the. I don't know. Do we take the devil deal this time? I'm gonna take the devil deal this time. I'm just gonna take that. Do you know what? I'm taking both. Let's go. I just want items to reroll. HP's looking insane now. We got Trisag. Very unfilled though. I don't know what's giving us all that HP. That's kind of crazy. There's a lot of crap going on here. I have to imagine this Trisag setup ain't great. Because it's doing very low damage. We should try and proc Burza maybe. That might be a good shout to be honest. Ah, we got loads of health there then. Ooh, hello. We'll definitely be playing you. I've got tons of money to spend on you. Just just go for it. Really? Okay, I finally grabbed it. There you go. We got scared shout. Oh, isn't this the mushroom that like only attacks when it's far away from enemies? We're not going to get a better trinket here, so let's just keep rolling. Bod shot though. Pretty interesting. We also found our secret room here as well, which is intriguing. Ooh, hello. That would be good if we weren't getting too damage from that and very much needing it. Damn it. Not very good for us here. If we get like a love, uh, lover's card or something, this could be a great room though. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 another run. I feel like this is the kind of problem with missing no. It just gives you pretty bad runs way too often. Like, I, it's, it's kind of incredible how much you have to craft a run for it to be good. Like... How many runs where if you take literally every item, it's still not good? That's a really nice upgrade there. Because, like, when you randomize every item... We, oh, yes! We gulped, um... We gulped Curved Horn. It's here forever now. Ooh, and there, there's the split HP bars. Look at that. Looks really nice. Really nice bit of functionality as well that just the game never had before. Petrified Poop, I guess we take that now. No reason not to. And yeah, I mean, it's one of the great things about Missing Nerva is we are seeing a ton of modded items from all the packs that I've got that we haven't been had the chance to see before. Now, the problem is a lot of them we don't know what they do or how they work because we're not getting to see their external item descriptions prior to getting them. We're just being sort of handed them and say, here, have a play. Beautiful. Pop that real quick. Bob's Bladder? Don't really think that's that good. For right now, at least. Do you know what I really want? Like a Bob's a Bob's Bladder uh, Dr. Fetus run. I've never had that. Bob's Bladder plus Dr. Fetus seems like it would be incredible. God damn, our damage is so low. I think forever to kill anything. Go, Mushroom Fella. Oh, he shoots like homing shots as well. Did not know that. The, the Battle Royale item is literally like an insta-kill on any room you use it in. So it just spawns the enemy under him and kills them all with contact damage. It's great. I am not complaining. Wheel of Fortune, Chariot, Magician. Probably Magician here. Okay, lost that burn heart pretty, pretty sharpish. Oop, and we're getting hit a lot as well. Oh, it's because Rock Gut's pulling all the shots into me, you little twat. Why are you doing this, Rock Gut? Um, we're going up, aren't we? Yes, we are. Let's go up. See what reroll we get this time. Things can get crazy here. We're going to lose a lot of HP. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have very low HP. And we got Stairway, but it didn't give us a Stairway. That's Highway Robbery right there. This is a great run, but oh, my God. Our HP is pretty piss poor. But the run itself is... Pretty awesome. Also, that familiar that's firing out those uh, electric beams. 
I don't know what it is, but I love it. Don't know how much damage it's doing, but I love it. Basically, we need an Eternal Heart, and we need to keep it here for, to make this survivable. Otherwise, things are going to get real difficult for us. Good, good. Okay, hope this gives us a soul heart. That's a that's another out here. Yes, you see, it did, it worked. Should take these uh, keys really. But yeah, this this is just kind of the first sort of tester run to try out the character and see the unique mechanics. But in future runs, we're gonna carry on playing this character and uh, try and get all the unlocks uh, so that we can use it on the main series, which obviously we'll catch up with as uh, as the backlog dies down. But uh, we'll mix in some other characters as well. We're not just gonna play this guy. We'll um. We'll mix in some of the other characters too. And uh, even some of the ones that don't have unlocks associated, we can still play those from time to time. Okay, we got our uh, boss fight here. Okay, of course, I didn't I didn't think it would work, but I had to try to see if um, thingy would work. The battle royale, see if it spawned another Isaac. This is a good way to do it though. Spawn another few of these dudes. Get a few friends going. Ah, oh, we lost our crown of light. We, it gave us an eternal heart though. No! You bastard! How could you? Another Eternal Heart. Literally no idea where these are coming from. Is it this Godhead baby that we've got going on here? We've got like a, a baby that's firing Godhead shots. I, honestly, I thought it was a buddy in a box at first that we just got really lucky with, but looking at it now, I think that's just a familiar that fires Godhead aura shots and sometimes drops Eternal Hearts. Oh wait, no! It's the, it's the Angelic Baby Familiar dude. I always forget he does that. Unlocked the ethereal card. Intriguing. Um, I think we should try and get two more charges here. Uh, just so that we can come down with another eternal, uh, another red heart guaranteed. Yeah, we do have a godhead baby. Kind of nice. There you go. We can pop that and go to the next floor. And hope that this next run's just as good as this one and hopefully has a little bit more health when starting out. But let's go in and we shall see. Oh my god. Oh, we did get the stairway. We got Mega Satan and we got a lot of HP to go with here as well. Oh, we got Godhead. Okay, this could be... Actually, this is the one. We got Revelation as well. We need to just not die and we'll be good. The hell we got the quasar consume all item pencils in the room and give you three limageton wisps uh for each item consumed intriguing i think we definitely want to play you the bible okay not what i was looking for HP, that's good. I think we'll take that and try it out, I guess. Seems interesting. Seems interesting indeed. So basically, if we find an item that we really hate, we can get some Lemmageton Wisps. But oh my god, this run. Holy hell. We got like the most god tier run for fighting Mega Satan possible. Also, these just insanely amazing um, boss, uh, boss health bars. That's so good. Also, look at the amount of fire we're shooting. What the hell? So much fire. Well, like a flamethrower. We've got Godhead Revelation, Eye of the Occult. My god. So, like, in a situation like this, what's this? Grants two full burn hearts. Chance to ignore damage based on amount of burn hearts. Okay, that's not that good. Let's, uh, let's do that. We get a bunch of wisps. We don't know what any of them do. We got Proptosis in one of them, I think. Yeah, we got prop toes. We got a modded item as well. It's kind of hard to see what we got there, to be honest. Chariot. Yeah, the prop toes is pretty pretty good. Oh my god. The, the eye of the occult plus uh, revelation is also really wacky. Look at it go. <laughs> That's great. Keep going on those. Oh, 
Ooh, lots of pins. Again, the multi-boss health bar thing coming in clutch, letting us know. We got Grant's prize upon defeating the boss without being hit. I mean, I'll try that out, but I don't think it's going to be super useful for us. Since we've only got one boss left. I mean, we might get Delirium. And we got Sci-Fly. <laughs> plus Soy Milk of some kind. Oh my god, we've got to go fight the boss now. Soy Milk plus their Godhead is insane. Oh wait, no, we, we need to fight Blue Baby first. Sorry, I forgot about that. We need the unlock for Blue Baby too. But yeah, this is incredible now. This this this, this is going to kill things so inc incredibly fast. It's going to be insane. With Sci-Fly as well to keep us safe. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Another Soul Heart. Beautiful. The Wafer. Holy friggity frack. Well, we know for a fact that we're at least killing Mega Zert in this run. Speedball and Bag of Trash. Go for the Bag of Trash, I guess. Grab that. It's just so much fire. So much fire. Oh my god, I love it. There's our uh, reward. Little, little hushy. Awesome. Let's go and do delirium, shall we? <laughs> god damn, as if we got side fly and soy milk. Soy milk with godhead is just incredible. Incredible. Let's do it. He should die pretty fast. Also, we can see the, the new health bar for this dude, too. I don't think Mega Certain normally has one either, so yeah, look at that. That's so cool. You actually see the health bar for his individual hands, which I did not expect. Very awesome to be able to see that. Go with Sci Fly, help me out. And it even shows the health bars for the enemies that spawn too. This makes the Mega Certain fight way better. Got to admit, this is a huge improvement. Keep forgetting I've got Revelation, although Revelation isn't as good anymore. Considering. Ah, oh, got hit by the Brimstone. It's okay, it's okay. There you go. Beautiful. Hand almost dead. Gor almost dead. I, yeah, this is such an improvement on this fight. Makes it so much more clear what's going on. You're gone. <laughs> Look at the fire behind him. It's so hilarious how much fire there is. Okay, that's first phase down. Now, will the second phase have like a new health bar? Or is it just the same one? No, it's a new one. Oh, it's awesome. That's so good. Just get a bunch of bombs in there, I guess. I'm kind of hoping we get a delirium ability here. That'd be so good. We don't have any bombs left. Okay. No problem. No problem. I see. Sci fly is going to help us out. It's going a bit slow. I think Soy Milk has definitely slowed things down a little bit. I mean, it's still very good, though. Sci Fly isn't even the thing destroying the shots mainly, it's our fires. The fires are just making it so that he can't shoot. So, in that sense, Soy Milk is really good. But Sci, sci Fly just collects up anything, anything that isn't destroyed by the fires, basically. There you go. Let's see if we get ourselves uh, next floor. I'll try Delirium if we get it. We did indeed. Gotta remember though, we ain't gonna have this run. <laughs> we gotta roll with whatever the game gives us here. We got very big Spirit Sword. We have two Sci Flies. 
Um, I think we're going to be okay, but this is still a little scary. We've also got a weird trail following us. My god, this is the biggest sword I've ever seen in my life. We also got to keep our active, but got Booker Revelation, which is nice. Yeah, having the sword this big makes this actually possible, I think. Because we can keep our distance. Normally, Spirit Sword would be a death sentence on Delirium, but I think with this setup, it's not so much. Oh, also, we have Isaac's heart. <laughs> Just to add to it. Didn't realize we had Isaac's heart. Pretty interesting runs here. I do love Missing No for this reason. Missing No can give you some dog shit, but it can give you some runs that you just never expect. And that is pretty beautiful. Remember, if it's an item we really don't want, we can get Lemmigate and Wisps out of it. But honestly, I'm kind of really happy with the Wisps we have right now. I probably don't want to get rid of any of them. Guess we can open that up. Just a bunch of money. We've also got the Relic as well, which is going to be giving us stuff from time to time. I think... Are, are Wisps invincible when you have Isaac's Heart? Because your body can't take damage. So we can't get that, so let's just go boom. Lots of hearts. Keep this going. Do we have flight? Okay, no we don't. We do have stompy. Good, good. That could be quite nice. Yep, it is. With this amount of luck, it's pretty much permanent. Double swipes. It's a little sad that we have as low speed as we do. Ooh, here we go. Look, we've got delirium health bar. The unique delirium health bar. I like it. But yeah, sci flies, double sci flies should take care of most things. We're doing a hell of a lot of damage as well. I love the way that we're just shaking the screen. Yeah, I, I love the delirium health bar. It's really cool. It's oozing. You stay away, heathen. And you can actually see when he spawns additional bosses, which he does do sometimes. Really, you tried it. You tried to stomp on me. But we got you. We got you. What a great run for Delirium as well. What unlock do we get this time? Is there an unlock for Delirium? I imagine there is. Unlocked the Torn Wings. There you go. There you go. We have managed to complete a really good run. A really fun Missing No run. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look at modded characters. We'll definitely be doing more of these as they progress. Please do let me know as well how often you'd like to see these. How, if you'd like me to upload it alongside the regular series. Or like, some days we'll swap the normal series out with these. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.